Last inductees happen to be two very tough Jewish men. Dimitri Salida was an outstanding boxer in his youth. As I reminded him, this week was the anniversary of his winning the Golden Gloves in New York. Gene, behind you. Otherwise, he might knock you out. Dimitri was voted the outstanding boxer of that tournament. He eventually turned pro. Had a record as a professional of 35, two and one, 18 knockouts among his many titles. Very impressive and I have to be careful because he can give me a rabbit punch and I'm down. The WBA World Super Lightweight Championship in 2009, long lost younger brother, a tough Ukrainian Jew, by the way. We don't talk about Ukraine today, but we should with him here. NABA Light Welterweight, IBF International Super Lightweight, the WB Intercontinental title, the New York State Welterweight title, very impressive credentials. As I said, when he retired, he was 35-2-1, very impressive numbers, and he started in 2010 Salida Promotions. Dimitri is a very good example of what we are trying to dispel today, that Jews are known as just the people of the book, they aren't necessarily a people, in his case, of the left hook, or the right cross, or the left jab. See what I know, and what I've learned from him. They could be very tough, as also in very successful once his boxing career ended. And I reminded Dimitri, if you'd like to learn a little bit about him, there's an excellent documentary called Orthodox Stance about him. We had the pleasure of meeting however many years ago uh, when we showed the film out in Comac. But Dimitri is also an Orthodox Jew, would not fight on Sabbath, and it's my pleasure to introduce our next inductee, Dimitri Salida. Thank you so much. I'd like to thank the organization, Mr. Alan Friedman, all the fellow honorees and inductees. I was very touched by all the stories uh, because through these stories, you see how much meaning sports gave to us and to these various people, and uh, I'm really touched by it. Uh, my family immigrated to Brooklyn, New York from Odessa, Ukraine in 1991. Shortly thereafter, I gravitated to Starrett City Boxing Club, which was located in the East New York, not so nice section of Brooklyn. Uh, the boxing gym was located in a basement of a parking garage and had um, no, uh, no heat, no running water, no bathroom. Uh, truly the heart of the School of Hard Knocks. From, from the first day in the gym, uh, a gentleman by the name of Jimmy O'Farrell who became my trainer, my mentor, African-American, older man, kind of took me under his wing and taught me boxing and taught me life. And shortly after that, I got in touch with Chabad Lubavitch, which is a Jewish outreach organization. And these two similarly opposite energies had a tremendous influence on my life. And um, I started to progress in my boxing career as 13, 14 years old, winning state tournaments and then eventually national tournaments. And I recognized that the good Lord gave me this talent and that uh, I came to the United States, a great country that I dearly love because Jews were prosecuted against in the Soviet Union. And uh, I felt it was my responsibility and opportunity to proudly represent why I came to this country to be able to be openly, uh, proudly Jewish when I fought on television, when I fought in different tournaments. And, uh, uh, you know, we're all given different uh, talents and put in different places in the world. And it is our job to, uh, to make that place better and to, and to, to drive a, a good message. And uh, uh, thank you so much. I'm also very touched by so many talented young players who are so exceptional not only in their sports, but also in their education, and that are, that are openly going to these Ivy League schools that have faced a lot of uh, criticism over, over their views on Judaism. So these folks and these young athletes have a lot of pressure and a lot of responsibility, uh, and I'm sure they do a great job. Thank you so much. And I want to congratulate uh, my fellow on the team, Mr. Ron, Ron Greenberg. I fought in HBO several times during his uh, tenure there as a president, and boxing, HBO is probably the greatest, not probably, for sure, the greatest boxing network of all time, and uh, Mr. Rose Greenberg contributed a lot to, 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 to that great network. So thank you and congratulations.
I would like to ask Dr. Alex Sternberg and Doug Sternberg to please come up. We are going to finish with a true Renaissance man, Dr. Sternberg. He's a PhD in exercise science. Somewhere in my past history, I did study exercise physiology, nothing compared to him. A black belt with multiple decades, tens of awards nationally, internationally in karate, has trained and educated thousands of people in the sport, and also, in his spare time, has become a very successful author. To present him is his son, Dove Sternberg. Dove's competitive history has spanned over 20 million years. As a member of both the USA National and the US Maccabea Karate teams, Dove amassed 10 gold, three silver, and nine bronze medals in national and international events. 1999, he won a silver medal in Kumite at the Pan Am Games in Winnipeg, Canada. The perennial marathoner has a personal best time on 2.53. Jeez, find time to practice a lot too, huh? Practicing attorney, he's a partner at Wilson Elser, where he focuses on the defense of high exposure medical malpractice claims. Please welcome Doug Sternberg, who will present Dr. Alex Sternberg. 